Hi, this is Brian Stark, and I'm going to show you how to create vehicles and implements. You want to make sure you add your tractors and combines prior to importing precision farming data, because doing this step now will save you time later in the year. It's also important to do this step if using Trimble AutoSync. From the home screen, go to Equipment. Start by clicking Add Vehicle. Here we can enter the name for the tractor. Manufacture is a required field. So is vehicle type. The equipment group is optional. This is primarily used in the fleet tracking portion of the software. In this example, we'll choose row crop tractors. The cost per hour is optional, but is highly recommended. By entering a cost, you'll have a better idea on overall field profitability. You can add a icon to represent this tractor. We'll choose save. The display device is where you go to pick your display connection for AutoSync. If your reseller has assigned your display to your account, you'll see the serial number available from the drop-down list. Make sure to pick it here. AutoSync has many benefits. Be sure to watch your other videos about AutoSync. And there's one thing to point out here. If you decide to move that display to a different vehicle, let's say a tractor to combine, make sure you do that step here. You can move this license to other vehicles, and it's important from a data perspective to change it when the move happens. If you're moving the display from tractor to tractor, it isn't quite as important to move the license. But if you can remember to change it, it's a good habit to get into. The telematics device option is for traditional fleet when using the DCM modem. If you're not using that service, skip this step. Click Save to add this vehicle. To add an implement, go to the Implements tab and choose Add Implement. Here we can add a name. Pick the operation type from the drop-down list. The equipment group is optional. If that name is not there, you could add one here. But keep in mind, this is used primarily for the fleet tracking. So if you're not using fleet tracking, you could probably just skip this step. But we'll just go ahead and choose it from the drop-down list. Unit cost. By entering the cost, you'll have a better idea on field profitability. We'll choose save to add this implement. The devices tab shows important detail about your display connections. Here we can see the display connection has been assigned to the tractor, but AutoSync is not working yet. For the AutoSync column, you'll see a yes or no. By successfully completing the AutoSync setup on the Trimble display, this will change to yes. Think of this as a one, two, three step process. Number one, set up the vehicle. Two, assign the display connection to the vehicle. And three, complete the AutoSync setup on the Trimble display. Thank you for learning more about adding vehicles and implements. I hope you learned a few things along the way to make your life easier.